Team Black. Waiting on move one. Alright, my opponent was quickly typing at me. Let's go with D5. Let's go with D5, and I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go to chase this knight away. If the knight plays here, what I was planning on doing, bishop f5 and then challenging it right away with knight d7. But, I don't have to worry about that. Should I just play knight d7 right now? No. No, 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 no. This is where he's most likely going to go. I'm going with the... I'm re retaining flexibility with my knight. Or with, with that last move I was retaining flexibility my knight my queen knight might want to go to one of these two if he if my knight's gonna go here I wanna have my pawn up first but let's reserve this so with that last move having both d4 and f4 in this square is a hole I would love to have these guys off the board and then eventually have a knight just right here and I think that that could very easily lead to some trouble. I'm choosing this square instead of this one because I might want to eventually capture the knight for when it plays to this square. And when that happens, I don't want to end up in a fork. So let me, let me castle. In fact, if there's a if my bishop is challenged, I think I'm going to not capture the knight, but rather play here and be perfectly content with doubled f pawns because it reinforces my grip over e4. And you know what? Maybe I want to voluntarily play here. No, 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 no. I could just do this. Let me, let me put pressure on the center. Get my C pawn involved. And if it's supported, I'm going to throw another another piece on it. Knight C6. Another reason to have delayed that Queen Knight's development. In the end, he does get classically developed. And another way to view it is, um, if I if I voluntarily played to this square, I wouldn't be threatening anything. And there, there is sometimes the potential for white to just let this tension sit between the light square bishops. And in the event I capture, you capture with the pawn. And that would fill, that would repair the hole on e4. And also have there would be some quick play for white on that newly half-opened c file. So this is one that I'm considering right now that the knight is unpinned. And um, let's, let's, let's go with that. I can pre-move that one. There's not going to be anything better you get three I get three I'm looking to eventually end up in a position where I have a good knight versus my opponent's bad bishop or a good bishop versus a bad bishop or maybe a, a better way to summarize it is I want to end up in a position where this dark square bishop stays on the board I don't want him to exchange himself off for my dark square bishop or my knights. Um, so what to do? I could ca capture this knight. Right now, this, this is just uh, barely being held together by white. They're in a position where their, knight, their pieces are having to defend pieces. So I could capture this guy. I don't want to do that, though. Hmm. Let me, let me capture that bishop. Force that knight to retreat. And I think I just want to jump into this square right now. No. No, I don't want to do that. What do I want to do? Hmm. I don't want to release the tension. If I capture it captures like this, then I can't make use of that e4 square. Maybe that wasn't a so great a decision to take the bishop. Maybe I should have played knight e4. Oh well. Um... Maybe just b6. I want to keep this tension. I'll go with b6. My knight is now a bit loose. 228, about a minute advantage. Forgive the sniffles. For some, I don't know what it is. As soon as I begin live streaming, I begin to sniffle. That's a fun one, isn't it? <laughs> a, fun, a fun little detail. A fun little detail. My knight is hit, and I don't want to take it. So let's play here where I defend the knight and still keep a close eye on this square. I'm intending just throwing my knight in the center. E4. Um, okay. I don't have anything more to add. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Watch out for those stream sniffles. Some people are saying it in the, in the chat. This, and uh, 
the very common the sniffle gambit <laughs> just throw gambit after every word that's all you have to do okay so if e4 is going to be played I believe I just take first okay so this is probably a uh, I'm, and I'm not so sure what to do type of move so I think I just sink this knight right in there let's go for it do I have any choice after knight takes knight I guess I could first consider knight takes knight but I don't want to do that I don't want to do that you'll notice I'm reluctant to t be taking this knight because of the capturing towards the center and then this rook has some play I don't think that that was a good decision to go forward with so I think my queen is in a very good spot and this this is the one piece that white is still needing to get working I could capture but I'm not going to with this move I'm cementing this this pawn and if after this capture well let's get this rook working I, maybe I want to get this rook on the c8 square so that's why I was going with the king rook to d the a rook on c and if this queen comes over in this direction I don't think I have much fear my my bishop works perfectly with my pawns these guys are out to watch over light my bishop is around to watch over dark and let's get this rook working I'm okay with capturing like this now this pawn is going to be passed if we do have that capture should I be afraid I don't think so I don't think these pawns can get rolling this is not so easy to break down um, if this pawn isn't around whoa 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 hang on my first thought is light square weaknesses with that move now I could take and after the recapture I could I think just sit on these light squares and I think that's going to be a great inconvenience for white I think my queen will be very well placed on this square let me do that my queen is going to be hit very shortly my question is b5 or a4 I think if uh, the computer was playing they'd go here because they like uh, they like material and so do I I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie but I, maybe I'm gonna lie I like this better I like this one better. I like observing the d3 square. I'm uh, coordinated. I have some communication with my pawn and queen on d3. I am. I have some pressure on b4 as well, which is being supported. And I believe sitting on this d3 square is just a very, very active square. Very active. I could uh, think about b5 and then pivoting on c4 in the event the rook is captured. I have a I could recapture with the pawn and have a connected pass pawn. I'm also hitting a3, and now that's having to be defended. And now here comes the that follow-up position that you really want to get. Once the rook is on an open file, you want to have it functioning laterally, and that's exactly what's happening. And now this is going to be game over because of a skewer. I had a close eye on h4, and now this is tough. So the main thing, as soon as that earliest point when d4 was played, my attention was really focused on this guy, the bad bishop, the bishop on d2. It was difficult to get him working, and he turned out to kind of be a tall pawn. Good game. My opponent is saying good game. Thank you. Thank you as well. Let's go back quickly and flip the board and check to see how things were from your perspective. So one thing here is well I would be very very cautious of uh, doing this it's not in any way losing but just of course recognize the weaknesses that you leave behind the e4 square in particular in addition to that what else okay you're just um, this is a still a very solid setup some type of a stonewall setup light square bishops are challenged and Okay, I think the knight move is fine. You recapture. And now when you throw the knight back there, I think it's fine to let him sit. This is the one position that I was kind of like, I think I said it, I was saying this is maybe an I'm not so sure what to do type of move. I think, um, well, what else can you be doing? Maybe that's okay. Maybe that's still okay. 
But when I throw my knight in here, I don't think you should be giving up your biggest asset. I think your biggest asset is keeping this knight around on on that uh, e5 square, excuse me. Yeah, I think he should stick around on e5. Maybe h3 you could do without. Um, how else can we maybe be looking at this position? I, I think I think it was maybe too easy for black to equalize. And that might be... Uh, maybe there's something more that could be trying to get out of the opening, but... Uh, I'm I'm kind of like that even as white. I'm okay to allow black get into an equal position. I try and from there I'll try to outplay come middle game or end game, especially in blitz. But anyhow, I think this is a this is a trump. This is a, a good thing for you. So keep him sitting. I'm not really that's that's why that's why I played queen c7. That's why I'm not taking the knight. I think it would be beneficial um, for you for white. If I take and you're capturing like this, opening up the file for the rook. So I keep him sitting at that point. Maybe do something else. Maybe maybe getting the queen doing something else. Not so sure of the queen move either. Maybe the queen is still good on this diagonal. Maybe throw a question to the bishop and then jump into this square. And then get your queen to f3. And then maybe uh, maybe have ideas even of playing something like g4, g5. But everything kind of comes back to that dark square bishop. I kind of worry when I see this guy behind this dark square pawn chain. If he doesn't get working, it's going to be quite problematic. And in this game, it turned out to be problematic. So one last thing regarding the pawn moves. This is, uh, I believe, fine. Your knight pawn attacking my bishop pawn. b4, I'm pretty sure, is just a mistake because your light squares are significantly compromised. What you could maybe be trying instead is something like b3 and c4, trying to get two pawns on this fourth rank. But playing b4 gives me a free inroads by way of the light squares, and there's nothing you could do about it. So you could definitely do without the b4 move, but maybe it's already busted before that just uh, going to win material now after bishop h4 okay uh, good game again Appleman